Hello everybody, Princess Vera here, and we're back at Epcot, this time in Italy. It's been a while since we've been to Tutta Italia, but we're here. It's time to uh, get past some pasta. Be sure to Silenzio Bruno. You heard the girl. Bread sticks, put the sticks in your heart as a, a thing, I don't know. Okay, so these are like either way broken or way tiny. They way tiny. All right, we'll take a little piece then, a little princess bite. Which is like your normal little bread stickies. They good. Um, three out of five breads. It's just bread. I got no complaints. I tried a bread stick. It's good. It's got a really good crunch to it. It's like, you know, dry, but not too dry as like a crouton of a breadstick goes. Very crunchable. I'd probably want to eat those as snacks all the time. If you put a bag beside those me, or bag beside those. If you put a, me? If you put a bag of those beside me. Yeah. English be hard, thank you so much. Uh, if you put a bag of those beside me, then for real, I'd probably eat the whole bag. Without noticing, it's like half a bag like blazes and then it's gone and then you're like, oh no, what happens? But I would I would eat all of those, like a four out of five. Brent sits in a bag. I'm not complaining. Brent just loves these little things. The thing I buy here that he's like by the pack. For snacks. We have balsamic. A little balsamic dip. Like an Italian pretzel. Two and a half out of five plus. We have this lovely bounty of bread, which is safe for me. And we have oil that it comes with, and then I ask for balsamic on the side because I like bread with balsamic. That's just my thing. Usually put it on the plate with some olive oil, some pepper, and some balsamic. Boop. Should be more balsamic than oil, but I went hard on the oil. Mm -hmm. The olive oil is so fresh and beautiful. As to be expected in Italy, this is a win. This is a five out of five bread. This is a good bread and good dippage. Gotta get some good bread. Same though, balsamic and the olive oil. You're raised with a parent that doesn't like balsamic. Change your flavor profile. Try it out. So good. Nice hard exterior. Super soft on the inside. When you give both of the flavors together, it gives it really that traditional flavor. I would agree, it's missing some of the spices, the pepper, the oregano, maybe a little bit of garlic, kind of like thrown in on a plate. But still very good, very good appetizer. I would give it like a 3.5 out of 5. Eat the bread. At least they don't skip on the bread serving size. It's nice and warm and fresh. I was not even sitting eating all day. It's nice and soft and nice little crisp crust to it. Me, I'm just going for the balsamic. Forget the oil, nobody wants the oil. Well, except for America, but we're in Italy, so. Have you ever heard of the Mediterranean diet? Mm -hmm. We're not talking about that kind of oil. The Greek fats. Mm. Nice bread, goes down well. Perfect, so they have no complaint. This is above average bread. Three and a half out of five plus. Pomegranate Cosmopolitan. It almost tastes like a limoncello, but um, pomegranate. It's very tart, and I love it. I'm gonna give this a four and a four out of five pomegranates. I would not proactively come here for this, but I would go to the bar next door and get a couple. All right, 
pomegranate cosmopolitan. I don't think I should be squirting the lime into it, but you know. We can if you want. I don't care. I mean, how about I do a sip with and a sip after, right? Ooh. It's nice because pomegranates kind of give it more of like a mellow flavor. It's not too sweet at all. It does make me kind of interested in what the lime juice would be like in it. Thanks, Princess, for allowing me to do so. Honestly, that enhances the flavor a lot. It gives it a little bit more acidity, but in a good way. It kind of just like caps it off sweet, but not being like overbearingly sweet. It just gives it that little bit, almost like a lemon bar or something. Uh, I would probably give that one like a 3.5. I was thinking about getting it, and I definitely would have drank all of this. Uh, I've never been a Cosmo person. I used to read Cosmo, oddly enough. I'm not going to explain that at all. It's good, but it's tart. I get the pomegranate flavor, so there's sharpness in the back end. This is definitely something you're gonna be sipping. Definitely uh, ring the glasses, lime some more if you need it to. Interesting though. Complex. Three out of five plus. Peach Bellini from For the Peach, Miss Taylor. It's, it's like peach light, more champagne-ish. So not mad at that at all. It, uh, it does the job and it does the job peachy. I'll give it uh, three out of five peaches. Move closer, zoom in. Peach Bellini, because A, I love the peach and B, I love peaches more than anything. So peaches and strawberries, top aesthetic. Definitely enhancement on a regular mimosa. Uh, I would definitely say it's like uh, what Princess said, where it's lighter on the peach flavor, more on the champagne. But something that I would easily drink and something that's very much so my aesthetic for sure. I would give this one a five out of five. I could drink many of these, but I'm gonna try to be nice today. I would say that the peach bellini is almost superior to the Mimosa in almost every way. Fight me over it. That's nice refreshing, strong peach flavor. Very much Taylor. Three and a half out of five plus. Me too. All right, uh, margarita in Italy. Where's the rum? It, it looks like a. Frosty? That's dessert. That's like sorbet. That's straight lime. It's good, but it's frosty. I need like a spoon. Three out of five margaritas. Go to, go to Mexico if you want a, a blended margarita because, you know, that's what they specialize in. It's like, I almost want to squeeze this one in here too, but I won't. Well, it, I can't give you permission to put the Exactly. I was like, it seems very um, daiquiri to me. As much as the margarita, this, this vibes in a very much uh, daiquiri kind of way with like the, and the whole iciness of it. I've gotten permission to squeeze more limes and also get daiquiri margarita on my nose. That's really good. It definitely has like a, a lime dessert flavor to it. Sure, with just the lime into it, it's just gonna give it an enhancement of that. It might taste better actually. Honestly, it does. 100% does. Without the extra street squeeze of lime, I probably would have given that like only like a three out of five, but with the squeeze of lime into it, really just gives it like that extra punch, a little bit of more like flavor in the back of your mouth. Uh, I would give that one like a, a four out of five. It definitely like pointed up a whole point in that. Certainly dessert though. Uh, you either have to really like sweet drinks or save this more towards the end because I don't know if this is gonna be great with pasta or pizza, but I like it. A margarita would not be my first choice for Italy or an Italian restaurant, but I always appreciate frozen alcohol in almost any form. Ooh. 
Less of margarita, more Italian ice with tequila. Completely there for that. Four and a half out of five plus. Iced tea, that's it. The Americano. Oh, right, yeah, Americano. Disposedly, yeah, I don't know. Interesting mixed drink? It tastes like soda water. It's got club soda in it. Sweet vermouth, club soda, probably. And it really just water. tastes like. You think I should stir? I 100% think you should stir. Apparently, we're in China now and we got to stir. Okay, that helped. Whoa. Oh! Stirring was a bad idea because now all I taste is bitters. Okay, this went from like a decent drink to a uh, hell no, I'm not drinking this. Uh, one and a half out of five bitters. It's too bitter for me. I would have given it like a three and a half. For just club soda. With the club soda was good. Thank you, that's what I did. <laughs> the club soda was good, okay? God. Flavorful. It was flavorful. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. At this point, I feel like there's high standards on this. We all know I like a, a drink that gives me hair on my chest. None present, but I want it there. All I smell is the orange, just like a normal old fashioned. Also, Americano. Not Americano. The soda water definitely gives it, it's almost gingery. Mm. And I'm not a ginger fan, to be honest with you, but it's not terrible. Yeah, I kind of like that. I don't like ginger beer, but I like that. You, the orange peel is giving you the flavor of orange while you're kind of like drinking the the capri, right? The capri soda, capari, capari soda into it. It still has the bitters. You definitely taste the whiskey. It's almost like a little bit of a soda vibe into an old fashioned, which is, I guess, maybe more an Italian version because they do love their bitter soda. We all know where that comes from. Uh, I like this better than I would like a Beverly ever, probably because it does have whiskey into it. Not the best, but not the worst. I'd rate it higher, maybe like a three out of five. I'd still drink it all. It's different, but it's not bad. I like it. Yes. Water. So this Americano, uh, I wanted something a little bit light, so it's got club soda, sweet vermouth, uh, Campari in it, and then a twist of orange. It almost feels like a Italian version of like a lighter old fashioned. Ooh, that is an acquired taste. This reminds me of more of like. Negroni profile. There's some pain in drinking this. Uh, I don't hate it, but I don't know if I'd order it again. Two out of five points. An Americana. I like Greek coffee, and I feel like the Italian coffee is pretty close to a Greek coffee. Not as strong though, but good. Um, Four out of five coffee beans. I would come here for coffee and dessert, like especially if you're a tiramisu or cannoli person with the coffee, yeah, yeah. Oh, did I give it a, did I say? Three out of five coffee beans. An Americana. I like a lot of caffeine. Coffee's probably my least favorite in those, but I played a lot of video games last night and forgot to do any sleeping. So I kind of need this. I love the smell of coffee. Definitely bitter, like I would have thought it would be. But I'm used to drinking cappuccinos from an Italian lady that I worked with, so it's not bad at all. A little less sugar. I'd probably give that one like a 2.5. But uh, I didn't sleep a lot, so I could drink all of this very easily. Sorry. What's that? So I got um, the vegan pasta with marinara, and I guess every time we come, it's a different type of pasta, because this time it's spaghetti. Got a nice pile of, well, it's just pasta for days. 
with a little bit of marinara on top. It was already mixed. There's maybe some couple pieces of basil in here. It's very hot. Oh, I should have asked for food. Here we go. It's good. Good pasta. I wish I had some, some vegan parmesan to put on it, but I'm not going to be mad at that. I can always take it home and do that. Last time I came here I did that and it was delicious leftovers. And they gave you enough for leftovers for sure. This is like three meals maybe. Um, three out of five pastas. It's your average pasta if you want, you know, a good Italian comfort food. This is the place to come. I would almost, almost call this one the kid classic. Your kid hates everything. If you're not gonna get them pasta and butter, then you're gonna get them pasta and red sauce. And this should be a gravy, which hopefully the gravy's got a lot of flavor into it. So it has nothing else. Add flavor, it's got garlic into it. Considering it's lacking a lot of uh, supplements into it, I might put more basil, maybe more garlic because I am Italian, <laughs> but it's not bad. It's a step above your average tomato sauce. I wouldn't call it like specifically gravy because it's missing a couple of the those superpower ingredients, but it's good. I would probably give the same 2.5 out of 5. It's definitely going to get you where you need. It's going to fill you up. You'll have more to take over if you want to put some vegan cheese on it at home. But as far as like a super hearty meal here at Disney World, meh, right down the line. I'm not going to rant this time, I swear. I'm going to blink though. Because those of you that have been here already know how I feel about this. But I digress. Mm. I love the sauce is good. Pasta is perfect. It has no excuse not to be perfect. Still getting two and a half out of five for pasta. We have the uh, salmon, because you know me, I'm a bear, and I'll order fish any opportunity I get. So let's see how the Italians do it. This is a nice bed of greens on top, some green beans on the bottom with like a little tomato sauce. If this is dry. We are going to fight. Oh no, I don't even need this. This is completely useless. Strong flavor, the herbs on top give it a nice kick. It goes well with the nice salmon, like a little lemony in it. But even though I don't really love green beans, I don't mind. Flavor's good, the salmon's good, nice and flaky. It's not something I'm right home about, but I would say that it's above average for salmon I've had in the theme park. Three and a half out of five points. Salmon! I do love a good fish. I am a green bean person. I do love the flavor. This looks like some nice like pesto basil on top to me, which I'm all about. Basil's like one of my favorites. Get a tomato, if I can. Get a green bean. Tastes like the kind of like the lemon kind of freeze on top of it. Very fresh, good greens into it. I'm not super a fish girl into it, but I would eat this whole meal easily. I would probably give it like a 3.5 out of 5 for me. I'm more into like the basic when it comes to like Italian food, but that's very light, very easy. You could eat that whole meal and not feel disgusting going to have a drink after this, especially on like a, a warmer day in January. Yeah. 
Pinay Vodka, which is actually what I had last time we came to uh, Estratoria. Uh, beautifully sauced pasta, nice size portioned, heavy enough to fill you up, but not heavy enough to make it impossible to walk around this park afterwards. It is so well sauced. That sauce is immaculate, almost as good as I remember. I definitely regret not getting that. The salmon is good, don't get me wrong, but this pasta is uh, a knockout of the park. Just all the flavor, it's very simple, but it's very good, four out of five plus. And then I got the vodka penne for myself. I do love a vodka sauce. I mean, who doesn't like alcohol in any of your foods, right? Very classic. You can still taste like the normal marinara in there, but it gives it just a little bit of like an extra oomph and kick into it. You taste the cheese, so you get kind of like that fat kind of flavor that you want in your mouth. Uh, but it's, it's still pretty basic. I might say the gnocchi or the salmon was a little bit better. I'd give this one like a 2.5 out of 5. Still eat it all. Again, wouldn't be too heavy compared to some other fried meals. Um, but it's not nearly as comforting as maybe some of the other foods that we've had today. Well, here we have a delicious plate of gnocchi. When they say cheesy gnocchi, they are not playing around. Like, look at that pile of cheese. A nice potato gnocchi and a tomato base. Now, I am sans magic pills today, so I'm taking a single bite of one sauced potato gnocchi. Even on its own, it's not bad. Nice and soft, not all like spongy. Bite right through it. And the sauce is nice and flavored. Flavored tomato sauce, people. I know. It's weird. But you should sauce your sauces. Season them. You don't just throw tomato sauce on things and then feed them people. At least, not if you have any color in your skin whatsoever. But either way, it's good pasta. Three out of five. Now to go full flavor into it, I'm definitely gonna go gnocchi with the cheese into it. And the Parmesan, all the goodness. Try to get some of that basil on top. How is everything? Good. Thank you. Gnocchi is so comforting. It's definitely an easy food to get into. I feel like you could eat half of that and then get super full off of it easily but it's not too heavy at all, so you wouldn't feel like bogged down by the end of the day. I would probably give that one like a 3.5. Tomato sauce, cheese, hits all like the comfort levels that you need in that. Potatoes, all of the comfort levels. What would a trip to Italy be without wine? This is as close as we're getting to wine because this is a wine forward menu, but we all do mixed drinks, sangria. Is this boxed? It doesn't taste fresh, it tastes boxed. Yeah, just go to just go to Three Bridges. Go to Coronado if you want sangria. This is, um, I feel like this is boxed. One out of five sangrias. Sangria, I may have gotten a peach bulimia again because your girl supports the peaches at all times, but sangria is good too. I kind of see what you mean. It does taste, or it does smell very sweet compared to red wine. That tastes really familiar. Like tailgate and a jug of sangria, familiar. Me living in Florida? No, never. I mean, it gets the job done, but as far as Disney prices, I'd probably give that like a two out of five. You're gonna get better quality and higher alcohol content outside of the restaurant for this one. And the princess calls me the mean one. She might be right. <laughs> oh, it's got some profile to it. You just beat a little evil. I mean, it might still be boxed. So what if it tastes like an, an adult Capri Sun? That, that has some merit. Two and a half out of five plus.
Tutoria, I'll... No, wait, it's not Tutoria. It's Tutta Italia. Tutta Italia. Food consistent as ever. Tutto a little Italia. above average. It's not my first pick for an Epcot restaurant, but it does disappoint. If you the want, food is... It's, it's good to eat. If you want good Italian, either go to Tutoria Al Forno or go to Portofino. Yeah. The Portofino. Pr the princess Ice. actually did Ice. suggest Tutoria Al Forno over this, and I said no because... We've been there a lot. We haven't been back here in a while. And we haven't been there in years. Okay, maybe last year we went. I mean, it's... But it's, here... To do, it's just, what, to four Italia, days in a 2022? like, two years. <laughs> Either way, I don't know what you guys think. Have you guys been here considered it? After this video, would you be convinced to come here? Let us in the comments. If there's any place around Disney World you think gives better Italian food, Orlando, period, that's going to be a place to find us. Hit that notification bell if you want to see other videos like this, and... We have new videos five days a week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday. And we will see you soon. Be sure to subscribe. And you heard the girl. Like the video and comment and do all the things that Bear is just forgetting to do. And Silencio Bruno! You know, comment with Silencio Bruno! Silencio. We no longer talk about Bruno! No longer talk about Bruno. We don't talk about Bruno. We don't talk about Bruno anymore. No, no. You heard the girl. Cello shot?